Above the Arctic Circle in Russia is an oil town called Murmansk, a miserable place. Its winters last most of the year. In the mid 90s, there was a dying Seventh Day Adventist church there. They had only eight members: the pastor and his wife, and six men who worked in the oil rigs. They did a reality check. and concluded they were destined to die unless something radical were to take place but what to do how can you share the gospel in a place like that they decided not to look to their circumstances but instead to the lord they began to pray for the holy spirit and to yield their lives in full consecration to jesus but in this frozen tundra they needed encouragement and accountability so they came up with an idea every icy morning at 6 a.m. in the morning the seven men met at the walrus club stripped to their shorts walked onto the frozen lake to a designated fishing hole and submerged themselves in the hole one after another then they knelt around the hole arm on each other's shoulder and earnestly prayed for the fire of the holy spirit to melt their hearts with the love for souls why such eccentric behavior you may wonder couldn't they have met in someone's living room by the fire to have prayer perhaps this is what most of us would have done but the men of murmansh wanted to hold themselves accountable to god the daily dip in the freezing water was their pledge that they did be ready to lead the people to the waters of baptism every single day rain or snow or ice they would not wait until summer to receive god's spirit the daily routine was to hold each other accountable in the service of god did anything happen everything happened within a year of this practice they brought 80 people to the waters of baptism at 1000% rate of growth Through the next few years the church planted at least six more churches in the area and this is a place where there are more vodka bottles than people second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 gives a great call if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from the heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land amen